okay in this session we will see what is visual studio and why we have to go for visual studio what is the difference between visual studio and dotnet framework so first we have two types of systems one you call it as developer system other one is user system so what is exactly meant by developer system so in which system the developer is writing the program is the developer system who is the developer you are the developer you are developing an application right so you are the developer so your system is called as developer system and after development of the application we are giving the application to the other person in that in that particular system in that part particular person system the program is going to be executing that system is called as user system so in the developer system what exactly happens the first part is that develop the program so we will write the source code and then what we have to do we have to execute the program so we will develop the application and then we will execute the program in the developer system so and the user system what exactly happens only one thing we will execute the program user will execute the program user will not develop the application so in the developer system two things happen development of the program and execution in the user system only execution is happening so in order to develop the application we need a software called as visual studio software with the help of visual studio software we are able to develop the application what exactly we can do with the help of visual studio we can write the program we can check for errors for example i have written a program so there is no rule that compulsory it should be 100% perfect there may be some errors so we have to identify errors we have to make the errors correct so this is called checking for errors and then debug the errors means removing the errors checking means only identification debug means only removing the or correcting the errors then we can compile the program so this all can be done in visual studio writing the program checking for errors debugging the errors and compile the program and then in order to execute the program we need another software that is dotnet framework software dotnet framework software provides only one point execute the program so dotnet framework assumes that already the application has been ready has been developed so only the runtime environment is provided by dotnet framework so in which system which software is required in the developer system we require visual studio and also dotnet framework is required because with the help of visual studio we can develop the application but we cannot run with the help of dotnet framework only we can e execute the program so in the developer system both are required that's why we need both software but in the user system visual studio is not required only dotnet framework is required so in the real world what happens for example i have developed some, appli some application for the hdfc bank so in my system i have developed the application and also in my system i have executed it it's running perfectly so in this case in my system visual studio and dotnet framework both are required and my system is called as developer system but in the bank system only one software is required that is dotnet framework software 
and in the bank system only execution is happening bank people will not develop right so we have developed the application so that the customers can use our application so this is the difference between visual studio and dot net framework visual studio is meant for only development dot net framework is meant for only execution that is the reason microsoft has released two different software visual studio and dot net framework but really the confusing point here is when we install visual studio in our system automatically dot net framework software will be installed so as a part of visual studio software dot net framework software will be automatically get in installed no not installed separately so but in user system we can download and install dot net framework individually so next i will show how do we install visual studio and how do we install dot net framework so first let's go to any browser so here we have visual studio we have to search for visual studio so once we open visualstudio.com next we have to click on what download community 2015 then you will get a file like vs_community.exe then we click on save file then i am saving the file so it has been downloaded it's a very small file so but before starting installation of visual studio first we have to install windows 7 service pack 1 then internet explorer 11 then only we can install visual studio so how to install windows 7 service pack 1 before starting with that we have to check whether already have installed windows 7 service pack 1 or not we have to check if it is already installed no need to install once again right so how do we check whether you have installed windows 7 service pack 1 already installed or not right click on computer go to properties so here we have an option service pack 1 already have installed in my system so in in our system if it is not showing service pack 1 like this then it means that you have not installed service pack 1 already then you can upgrade your existing windows to service pack 1 directly without formatting your system you need not format your system directly can upgrade existing windows to service pack 1 so how windows 7 service pack 1 updater so here we have windows 7 see we have an option get sp1 advanced so once you click on this particular thing directly we will go to the download section of the this one so windows 7 and windows server 2008 r2 service pack 1 so you have to download this particular file and you have to install so once you have completed that in, uh, download in inst installation then you have to go for ie11 means internet explorer 11 so go to google internet explorer 11 okay so here again you have to download so once you have downloaded and install this particular thing also then you can go to the visual studio installation already we have downloaded this one right download community 2015 so you have to double click on that particular file vs_community.exe click on run
actually already in my system visual studio is uh, installed So it is just loading the components of Visual Studio. Already in my system it is installed. So in a fresh system what happens, we will get typical. So click on typical, then click on install button. Then it will take around one or two hours to install Visual Studio. So once the installation is completed, it will ask for restart the system. So once the restart the system is completed, then you can use your Visual Studio directly. So this is the way how do we install the Visual Studio software. Then we will see how to install .NET Framework software. So as I told already in the user system only, we have to install .NET Framework software separately. Because in developer system, when we install Visual Studio, .NET Framework will be automatically installed. So how to install .NET Framework separately? What is the latest version of .NET Framework? 4.6. So 4.6 we will check like this. So click on download Microsoft.NET Framework 4.6. So this is the software name. Click on download. But really in our practice time you need not do this. This is required only for user system. In real time, once the project development is completed in the developer system, when you are migrating your project into the user system, then only we require this. Generally pr for practice time, Learning time, we never require this. Only we require Visual Studio software. Right? So, in this way, we have understood what is the difference between Visual Studio versus .NET Framework. So, thank you. We will continue in the next session.